Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Molnar from the Southern California Orthopedic Institute. My specialty is physical medicine and rehabilitation, which includes extensive training in the performance of electrodiagnostic testing. Electrodiagnostic testing is one of the more important diagnostic procedures we offer here. You may have heard of this test referred to as an EMG. It is actually comprised of two different parts, the EMG or electromyogram, and NCV or nerve conduction velocity. The test is ordered when the patient is having a problem with their nerves. This may be either pain, numbness or tingling, or weakness. The test results are often combined with other diagnostic information, such as the physical exam, x-rays, and MRI scans to reach a more accurate diagnosis and prognosis. For example, a patient may be complaining of low back pain with radiation down the leg with numbness or tingling. After a thorough history and physical examination and x-rays, the cause may still not be known. An MRI may be obtained that might show a possible cause in the spine, such as a disc herniation, but only the electrodiagnostic test can, ex can assess which nerve may be involved and how severe the condition is. The test is also the gold standard in diagnosing nerve entrapment syndromes, the most common of which is carpal tunnel syndrome. The nerve conduction portion of the test consists of a series of light electrical stimulation shocks applied to the surface of the skin. Most patients do not find it painful at all. The shock will stimulate the nerve and there will be a small twitch of the muscle as the computer measures the speed the shock travels down the nerve. A series of nerves in the extremity are tested to help identify the area of the problem. The EMG portion of the test involves an extremely thin, flexible wire electrode that is inserted into a series of muscles to test their function. There is no electrical current or shock used during this portion of the test. With the electrode in the muscle, the doctor will monitor signals from the muscle that are displayed on a computer screen. The patient will then be asked to gently contract that muscle to test how well the nerve is controlling a muscle. This portion of the test may be slightly uncomfortable, but most describe it as annoying more than painful. This is always performed by a physician, not a technologist. The doctor performing the test will be assessing the findings live and will usually know the results at its completion. The test takes approximately 30 minutes, but may be longer depending on how many extremities are being evaluated. A full report will be generated and the results forwarded to the referring physician. The results of the test will typically need to be correlated with the other clinical information relevant to that patient's condition. Once all the pieces of the diagnostic puzzle are put together, then a complete treatment plan can be created. Thank you for your interest in learning more about electrodiagnostic testing.